the programming sub team is part of ProBoot, uh, which means that basically we work on the robot. So the programming we do is all related to uh, making the robot move, making the robot uh, behave correctly. So what our biggest tasks are moving all the subsystems, making sure the motors spin correctly. We use a concept called PID for that. Uh, and then another big thing is autos, because uh, every match has um, a 15 second uh, autonomous period. And because of that, uh, it's a big deal to make the, move, make the robot move by itself. So uh, it always takes a, a lot of our time. So um, the programming sub team is most of those two things, moving each motor on the subsystems with PID and autos and some other things like vision. So I've always been interested in uh, computers, computer science, or gener uh, like technology in general. Uh, my dad uh, is a programmer, so kind of wanted to follow in his footsteps. And uh, back in the day, I didn't really know much about programming, but uh, I uh, liked robots. Um, I was part of FOL, and I knew I wanted to continue that experience in high school. So, I mean, the obvious choice for me was programming, uh, and I got the team, and I've uh, loved it ever since. I like programming. Uh, I originally joined programming because I had a previous interest in programming through like Scratch and just coding HTML and I decided that I would want to do something greater like code in like a real life application so I chose programming so I could code the robot. I wanted to join programming because I didn't know much about it and this would be like a good opportunity to you know get familiar with programming and learn a new skill. I joined the team because I've always just kind of like robotics, I guess. I mean, um, or I guess the concept of it. I haven't, I hadn't really done a ton with robotics specifically outside of a couple like summer camp activities. But I knew I wanted to do something with engineering. I was already in the academy, and I figured, what better way would there be to get e hours? I was like, oh, I could probably get a hundred in a year, and I quadrupled that. Want to join the team? Uh. <laughs> kind of the same reasons. I wanted to work with electrical stuff in general, coding and hardware. And I knew that I would be able to do that here because that stuff's expensive and I can't buy it on my own. And also I get to meet a ton of new people. I'm currently procrastinating the shooter subsystem. Uh, yeah. Right now I'm working on programming the uh, or I've done. I've written the math for the shooter subsystem, and I'm working with Christian to convert that math and the, the other logic I have for that into code. We'll ideally be able to test this tomorrow once the second programming robot gets finished. Right now, the shooter is held on by I think a shoelace. Uh, so it'll be interesting. Uh, well, I just finished up working on PID, and I'm just. Now, trying to get familiar with code, and like name commands and autos and stuff like that. Uh, I'm working on visions and LEDs. So, just the lights on the robot and how it sees. I would be a hummingbird so I could poke out people's eyeballs. I would be probably a robin, because um, they're bright. So. Probably be a raven, they're pretty cool. They're pretty smart and they can use tools and all that. If I were to be a bird for a day, I'd either be a peregrine falcon, because you get like those, those supers, like the, you know, that's like, you, you're just moving. Or I'd be a raven, because they're like, like, very smart. Um, I would say this year, I'm looking forward to Worlds, because when we go to main event, there's the Beat Saber machine. And I've been playing a lot of Beat Saber lately to prepare for that. And so it's going to be pretty crazy. Looking forward to? Definitely some of the competitions. I want to go to like Wisconsin or all that. Um, getting out of here. Um, <laughs> winning, <laughs> winning a regional. Currently, I'm looking forward. Currently, I'm looking forward. I'm looking to the side right now, but I'm looking forward now. Looking forward to winning. Well, I don't know a lot of things. Um, I guess like the community we build, because although it's kind of a cliche thing to say, it's really like under like people don't like fully appreciate the fact that like this like a large group of people and we're able to like share common interests and like work together towards a common goal and it's very sometimes the experience is taken for granted. Jack Frost. Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, 
Empire, Episode 5 was a big Star Wars fan back in the day. Cars. My favorite movie has got to be Cars. I watched it today, actually. During, during lunch, we pulled up Cars. It was like some, some goofy knockout, or it was like some goofy pirated version. It like, every five seconds, it would skip another five seconds. And like every five minutes, it would like pause and say, you got to skip forward 20 seconds. Just to like, so they don't use enough of it, so they can like post it legally. I got to say Cars. Um, I would say my favorite movie from my childhood is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. All right. I haven't fully read the book, all right? But Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, it's a good movie. Oh my god, it's so, mm, my, my go-to answer would be Star Wars and that's the Lord of the Republic 2, but Metal Gear Solid is making me reconsider, so that's what I would say. I really liked The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, because that was like the first 3D Zelda game I really played. Minecraft. Uh, I would say my favorite video game of all time is Probably Minecraft, because I've played it over the years and it's become like a fundamental game to me. I keep on coming back to it. Minecraft. Sid Meier's Civilization VI. So, my favorite sub-team on the team, it's this really special sub-team. It starts with an O. Uh, it's, uh, it's super special. Uh, Onformatics is my favorite. <laughs> I really love Onformatics. It's, I can't say that any sub team without, or I can't say that a sub team without a person named Micah on it is like <laughs> anything less than top tier. Um, unfortunately, uh, there's only one real Micah though, so doesn't look like they have an actual leader. I don't know how they get stuff done on Onformatics. Graphics is always kind of chill. I'd say graphics because they make buttons, and that's really cool. Outreach. Everyone on that team is super nice. Graphics. How about, how about informatics? Yeah, informatics. They, they, they do programming. Okay. 